Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I'm the host Nerd and welcome to another installment of my Truth class Hidden FX. This is a series where I'll be going over all Hidden FX on Crystal Rings. I'll be going over one class per video and I will try to explain how does every single Hidden FX works. These are all solo hand tested so there will be a lot of estimation on some of the stats and abilities. So if you have any of the correct values on any of these videos, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. So this is going to be the second to last episode in this series, so if you want to see any of the video of the Hidden FX series, there's going to be a playlist in the description down below and also on the channel. And every single episode is going to be there, including the next episode which will be uploaded in 48 hours after this video, which is going to be of course on the Dracolite. And like always, make sure to drop a like since it does help me out more than you think, and also subscribe, one or to 4.4k subscribers. And with all that being said, let's get started with the Van Guardians. It in effect. The Vain Guardian has three hidden effects which are going to be called Combo, Heroes Stand, and Champions Congregate. Starting off with Combo, which reads Energy Blast now supplies the same damage increase that the Eye Laser applies. So, for those who don't know, the Vain Guardian applies a debuff when you do hit an enemy with the Eye Beam ability. This debuff will allow you and all nearby players to do 5% more damage for 10 seconds. And normally, the Plasma Blast, the ranged most spammable ability, doesn't apply anything upon hitting an enemy. So, what this hidden effect does is when you do hit an enemy with the Plasma Blast, you are going to apply the same Eye Beam debuff when you do hit an enemy, allowing you and all nearby players to do 5% more damage for 10 seconds. Hitting an enemy again with the Plasma Blast will refresh the timer. This also does stack with the eye beam, so if you do hit with the plasma blast, change and do hit with the eye beam, both damage increase will stack on one another, allowing you to do 10% more damage in total. And that's about it. Overall, this ability is okay at best. Yes, 5% more damage is of course good. Not to mention, this is a very easy ability to proc. But come on, I'm pretty sure most players didn't even know that the Vanguard even had a debuff with the eye beam ability and the eye beam is one of the most spammable abilities from the Vanguardian. So imagine that same debuff that you probably didn't know a whole lot about the eye beam, but applying to the range mode spammable ability Plasma Blast, which you already use at least. So yeah, in my eyes, this is going to be a hard skip. Next up, the second ability is going to be Hero Stand, which reads, Laser Leap and Hero's Charge grants a buff that heals while dealing damage for a short time. I'll say this right now, this is an ability that you might not ever ever notice it since you have it equipped because healing is very easy to come by nowadays with stuff like Alice, Vampire and Vanquisher, Bard subclass, Revenant subclass, Lifesteal note that you get from the start shot very early on, not to mention class healing like Chloromancer, Bard and heck even the Vanguard itself. There's so much healing in this game that this ability you might not ever notice it. Anyways, what this ability does is going to be when you activate your ultimate ability in melee mode that allows you to go into range mode, which is laser leap, or from range mode into melee mode, which is hero's charge, you will gain a buff that will allow you to heal when you do hit enemies. However, even though this ability says grants a buff that heals while dealing damage, this only gives you healing if you do hit an enemy with the basic attack and it doesn't proc from all damage sources. So, what this does is when you do change from melee to range or vice versa, you're going to be healing 6.5% of your HP every single time that you do hit an enemy with the basic attack, and this buff will last for 15 seconds. Activating another ultimate ability before the timer expires will start a separate timer allowing you to have multiple buffs active at the same time. And yes, this healing does not seem to have any cooldown when you do hit enemies. And yeah, that's about it. Honestly, I thought this ability was somewhat interesting to test, but this is obviously another hard skip. For the reason that I explained before, healing is very easy to come by, so the majority of the time you are never going to notice that this ability is even there. Not to mention that this requires you to keep changing mode from range to melee and melee to range, and as of right now, the Vanguard is just strictly better going into melee mode only, so changing into a slightly worse mode for a healing that you're barely going to notice, you can see why this is going to be a hard skip. The last ability is called Champions Congregate, which reads, Fired Up and Force Flash now applies up to two nearby allies when used. 
very straightforward. When you use Force Flash, the melee buff, or fired up, the range buff, two players within 10 blocks in distance will get this buff as well. The buff granted to other players lasts as long as the buff is active on the Vanguardian who used it. And of course, it's going to be giving all of these stats. Now, like I just mentioned throughout this whole series, these are going to be solo hand tested, so I do not know if any of these do stack with one another if you do have multiple Vanguardians with this hidden effect. So, you might want to experiment with that one. But yeah, that's it with this ability. Overall, this ability has potential to be really, really good if it stacks. Since if it does stack with 3 Vanguardian, with Force Flash you can get an insane amount of movement say of plus 90. And not to mention an insane survivability of 75% because it's 25% per Force Flash. But more importantly, it's going to be if 3 Vanguardian are activating fired up, and if everything stacked, you might be looking at potential some absurd increase to physical damage and of course attack speed. So once again, I would just encourage you to experiment with this ability with multiple people. And let me know if you can actually stack with multiple players in the comment section down below. But outside of that, if for solo play, this ability is pretty useless because it only gives buff to other players, it doesn't give you anything extra yourself. So unfortunately, if you're playing solo, this is another hard skip. And that's it. Thank you for watching as always, and this has been all of the hidden effects for the Vanguardian.